I realized that this is not what this equipment was first intended for, but it works very well for the demonstration that I want to give you. It's similar to the one that we did with the baskets on the trolley, um, only what we're looking at here is uh, in a circular frame of reference. So we've got two weights that are exactly the same, both made of brass on an aluminium plate. I'm going to rotate the aluminium plate and you have to decide which one's going to come off first. So you'll be thinking about centripetal acceleration, you'll be thinking about friction, you'll be thinking about the weight force. So are you ready? Okay, here we go. Made your decision? All right, let's move. So which one came off first? The outside one came off first. Why is this the case? Because the outside one has got a faster tangential velocity. Um, no, that's probably not the best way to say it. The outside one is experiencing the greater tangential acceleration. And if the frictional force isn't able to provide that acceleration, then it slides before the inner one, which is closer. They've both got the same angular acceleration, but the outside one's got the greater tangential acceleration than the inner one. And that's what it's important. The friction has to be able to maintain that um, hold. Now, if we've got slightly different ones, let's say we have a different mass shape, so it's got different contact area. And we put both of them at the same distance. You decide again, they've got different masses as well. You decide which one's going to come off first. Are you ready? Three, two, one. Ah, they came off the same. Again, like the trolley, if you remember that one, the mass was not important because you have your weight force down, you have your frictional force. Both of those depend on mass, so the mass was not actually important as long as they were at the same distance from the center point. <laughs>